Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can kill your particles if they pass a certain object, in this case a locator, in the Y direction. And that way you can change your position of your locator um, on the fly and you don't have to change anything else and that might be important in your scene. So I've got these particles falling down past that locator there and I'm going to want them to die before they get to those objects so I'll get my outliner out select my particle and in the attribute editor set its lifespan to lifespan pp and I'll write some expressions on that so when it's born let's have it be 10 seconds long Very cool. All right. So now, let's see. Um, in order to separate out the vector positions x, y, and z of our particles, we're going to need to put them into a variable because writing something like particle shape one dot position dot y just doesn't work. So I'll write float, or excuse me, a vector. Call it pause, which equals position. Remember, if you only have one particle shape in your scene, you don't have to write particle shape. You can just create it, and then when you refresh, it'll fill everything in for you. So, if our pause in Y is less than locator 1's y position which is translate y let's set the lifespan to 0 you rewind and play they'll fall to the locator and they'll die before they hit those objects and say you want to get a little bit closer you can move that down and you don't have to mess with your camera or your other objects or anything pretty handy trick <laughs> 